I think it's time that we upgrade <laughs> how we measure the depth of a ball. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wolf Ridge Woodworking. So as I said in the intro, uh, I've been measuring my bowls by getting a ruler while it's on the lathe and kind of eyeballing it. And I mean, it's okay, but I think we can do better. Uh, one of the last bowls I did, I tried to do some kind of makeshift device here, but again, not the best in the world. Um, so what I want to do is I want to take this piece of cherry and I'm going to cut a, a two inch strip um, and it'll be one inch for the most part. And then I'm going to do something uh, decorative with it. And then I've got this kind of steel rod. I think it's five sixteenths or it might be quarter inch, but I'll have links to everything in the description. Um, so this is going to be my depth gauge. And then I've got some um, little thumb screws and some inserts. I don't know if you can see those through there, but you know, so this will, you know, be a little bit fancier and, you know, I'll put some kind of finish on it, maybe a wipe on poly or something. But anyway, so let's get started. First thing we need to do is we need to rip this piece of cherry down to two inches. So I'm just going to move my miter fence over to the two inch mark. I have checked. It's pretty accurate. Okay. So now we are just going to um, make our cut. So it's a little bit long, it's 24 inches. While my lathe will only do a 12 inch bowl, um, I wanna leave it a little long, but not 24 inches long. So what I think I'm going to do is put it to about 16 inches. And I'm marking this with my shot pencil that I've made. Uh, I'll, link, I'll link that up uh, in the top here if you're curious about how I made that. So anyway, so let's, let's get this set up in our sled here and let's get to cutting. So now what I want to do is I want to put some layout lines on here um, so that where, you know, I'm going to put the holes for the center and then where I'm going to maybe start my my curves but let's uh, let's do this first let's put our mark I could get my combination square probably do this a little bit easier I think actually I'm gonna grab it now, I've seen this done on TV I don't know if I can do it I don't know that I'm that coordinated Let's see. Close. <laughs> uh, it, it probably helps if the board is um, held down with some clamps. So, but what do you do? Let's see if I can do this again. There we go. Okay, that's better. All right, so then let's mark our center line. So this is we, where we are going to, we're going to drill our hole down through here, and then this is where we will mark um, and put our, our um, oh, what a, insert nuts, whatever these are called, brass insert nuts. Uh, okay, so now what I want to do is I want to lay out my, my curves. Help if I do it on camera, right? So I'm going to come maybe an inch in. And that's, that's kind of where I will start my curve. I'm just thinking of all this as I go. I'm, I have no earthly idea what I'm doing. As If you watch my channel, you probably are well aware. I kind of just wing it. So, okay. So then for my center, like I said, I want this to kind of gradually slope down. Um, 
Let me look at this. Let me see. Maybe, maybe two inches on either side. Yeah. And again, this is not going to affect the function of this. It's just more of kind of giving it a a nice, uh, you know, look. So I'm just going to start my curve. You know, I could do this with a cardboard, you know, and make it, you know, fancy, but I think that looks fine. And then I'll start again this curve here. Like that. And then I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw. There we go. I think that looks fine. Like I said, it's. If I was making this for somebody else, maybe I would take a little more care. But it's a shop project. But then I guess the other school of thought is, is if you can't do it for your shop, you can't do it for somebody else. So there's something to be said about that. But that's for another day. So let's uh, let's take it over to the bandsaw and get it cut out. Now that we've got everything cut, uh, shaped, sanded, and drilled, now it's time to go ahead and do a little bit of sanding. I'm gonna do uh, 150 and then 220 and uh, then apply a finish. I'll be using my razor mask uh, to keep my lungs safe. going to finish this with some spray on lacquer um, it a you know 30 minute uh, dry or recoat time and I'm going to I'm gonna put like three coats on maybe um, that should do it so full disclosure that is not three coats um, but I do need to uh, free up this space for another project that I'm going to get started on and I will actually apply those other two coats off camera but uh, didn't want to slow down the uh, production of this um, and going forward but anyway enough rambling so now what we need to do is we need to carefully insert our brass nut I did test this on a different uh, piece and I I think I I uh, maybe push too hard or not push too hard, but the um, the brass kind of gave way. So, but this seems to be going in a little bit easier. And I think the other thing was is that maybe yeah, I think that's what it was. So as it's cutting into the wood, it brings up the uh, the shavings. And so I think I try to crank it down too hard and I, I should have let it kind of back it out like I just did and, you know, give it some, you know, clear out some of that debris and maybe not crank down on it too hard. Okay, I think that's good. You know, if you wanted to, I guess you could kind of countersink that in there a bit, but 
I think it's going to be okay. And it, ooh, it does stick out a little bit. Let's see. Yeah. All right. So it sticks out a little bit. So I'm going to back it off. Yeah, actually, that's perfect because the hole was a little bit big because this is a 5 16 inch rod. I didn't have a 5 16 inch Forstner bit. So it, it, you know, wiggled a little bit, but being that that's like that, and I probably could actually maybe think a little bit more to make it, snug it down a little bit. And then I probably got way too long of a thumb screw here, but that's okay. And now I can snug that down. Yeah, so that's perfect. So let's, uh, let's try it. So we've got our bowl here. All right, so now we can actually truly see how deep this bowl is. So that worked out really well. I'm really happy with the way that came out. So this is going to be a lot better than using my, uh, you know, ruler and kind of eyeballing it. Alrighty, so I just wanted to reposition the camera so you can see this beautiful face. Not. <laughs> um, but anyway, so... I'm really happy, I probably already said that, but I'm really happy with the way it came out. And it was a really quick project. I think I came out in the garage maybe an hour ago, um, maybe less. You know how it is when you're having fun, time flies by, but it really wasn't that long to take to make this. And yeah, you can buy that, but hey, we're woodworkers, right? We, we make our own things. So I'm really happy with it, and uh, I'm gonna stop saying that. But I thank you for stopping by and, and sticking through. If you're watching this, you've made it to the end of the video. And I really appreciate that. You know, if there's anything that, you know, any questions that you have or, you know, if you, any kind of words of encouragement, or maybe you just didn't like it. You know, I, I do enjoy reading all of those comments. So please leave those comments uh, down in the uh, comment section, I guess. <laughs> um, if you like this video and you want to see more videos like it, you know, you can come over here and see additional videos. If you're new uh, to this channel and you like this type of content, you know, please subscribe up here and that way you can see the future videos. Until next time, I really appreciate you stopping by. Have a blessed day. Thank you.